fires are gone. Copy, Aiden. Box, box. Copy. Let's just minimize the damage. Okay, clear. Time left to push for the points here, Aiden. Copy. The gap behind us is 5.2 seconds. Move. Good job. teammate by 5.6 seconds. Okay, good work. Great pass. Okay, pick up rubber and bring it home. Here we are then, a fantastic British Grand Prix, and what a performance it was from our race winners today. What a race for young Aidan Jackson. If he can keep this up, he's got a long, promising career in front of him. Absolutely. He'd have been gutted about that puncture. Imagine what kind of challenge he'd have been able to make without it. You've got to give it to him, though. He gritted his teeth and pulled it back. Great driving. Now, whisper it quietly, but things seem to be on the up for Hass's Aidan Jackson. Want to watch. And I can see the drivers starting to approach the podium for the victory celebrations. A real team victory today. Everybody played their part. Congratulations, then, to Mercedes. You're race winners today.
Brian! Well, someone's the hot topic in the press room. What do you mean? Oh, come on. There's no need to be so modest. What are you on about, Brian? Well, after that puncture, everyone thought you'd lost it. But to pull it back, and into the points, it's all anyone's talking about. Well, I'm glad the press are starting to take notice. Oh, get used to it. They put a bunch of interviews in your diary for tomorrow. It's why I was calling. Right. Thanks for letting me know. So don't celebrate too hard tonight, eh? Yeah, all right, Brian. Don't worry. I'm only going to see my mum. Right. Well, each to their own. See you later, Brian. I'm not sure if it's something to do with the energy storage, but I'm losing power on the straights. Right. And you said the acceleration was okay? Hmm. I'll take a look at it. And how are we today, chaps? Everything running smoothly, I hope. Oh, all right, Brian. Yeah, we're just going through a few last-minute tweaks. Ah, that's what I like to see. With dedication like that, maybe you'll be able to get us back a few more of those points, eh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll try. Actually, Aiden, I'm glad I've caught up with you. Uh, I thought you might like to know. I had a call this morning from Mattia Binotto. Mentioned you directly. Oh. I think they're sniffing around for next season. You're being watched. So, no pressure then? So, uh, what's the problem with the car? I'm losing power on the straights. It's not a massive issue. I'm sure we can deal with it. Yeah, theoretically, do we have time to install the Spec 2 unit? Before the race? Yes, boss. And Casper's reporting no problems? No. OK. Let's do it. Put the spec to an Aidens, would you? Well, that would sort it. I mean, if you're sure. Of course. You could do with a little boost. A little boost. <laughs> Besides, anything for our star driver. Casper, how are you today? Feeling good about the race? Brian. Hayden, I'm glad I've caught you. Listen, don't worry about Casper. Let me stop you there. Brian, Casper's the furthest thing from my mind right now. I've got a race to focus on. Good man. In the garage just now, that was my fault. I know how he can be. What, childish? Self-centered? I'm sick of it, Brian. He's been on my case ever since I joined the team. He needs to grow up. Okay, okay. You just leave Casper to me and get your head in the race. Let's put that new power unit to good use, eh? Sure thing, Brian. See you on the other side.
Welcome to Monza, where the crowd are ready for today's action. And we hope you're ready to see the world's best drivers fighting it out for that number one spot. It's time for the Italian Grand Prix. With top speeds reaching 215 miles per hour, only a few places can challenge Monza's crown as the fastest circuit in F1. Hard braking zones going into the three chicanes make up the majority of the 11 corners on this 3.6 mile circuit. And just in case the slipstream wasn't enough, two DRS zones will help encourage some closer action. Here we are then, Monza, the 90th time this event has been held. So a special year for F1 fans, particularly the Italians, who are rightly proud of this event and its heritage. Yeah, it always feels a bit special here, doesn't it, Crofty? Hamilton holds the joint record with Schumacher for number of wins here at five apiece, but could snatch it outright today with a six. Nearly a hundred years of history here, so let's see what this year holds in store for the Italian Grand Prix. With the race minutes away from starting, here's what today's grid rundown looks like. Lewis Hamilton lines up on pole position, and it's Valtteri Bottas that completes the front row. Moving on to the rest of the grid, we have Verstappen, Ackerman, Carlos Sainz and Perez, Norris, Ricardo. Stroll and Alexander Albon, Ocon, Leclerc, George Russell and Butler, Vettel, Kvyat, Antonio Giovinazzi and Aidan Jackson. Gasly and Kimi Raikkonen finishes off the grid. It's almost time for those five red lights to go out. Then let's see who can prevail today. Right, let's see if we can squeeze some performance out of this new power unit. Good luck out there today. work that brings you up a place DRS now available.
Jasper should be within reach soon, Aiden. You are free to race. Top 10. Approaching the pit window, you'll be on the mediums. Gap ahead is 3.5 seconds.
Okay, we've lost the position. That's us down the place. Two laps of fuel left. Race over, take care of the car on the way in. Well, 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 quite the rivalry forming between the rookie Aiden Jackson and his veteran teammate Casper Ackerman. Yeah, it reminds me a little bit of when Hamilton signed from Claren back in 2007. And we all know how that one ended. Alonso returned to Renault pretty much the moment the season wrapped up. Well, let's hope it doesn't come to that. Mercedes are on top form once again after an excellent race weekend. It's great to see them up on that podium once again. Good day today. Let's have your take on it. So, a podium finish. The team must be overjoyed with your driving today. Can you talk us through it, Aidan? I mean, it's the podium. What more could you want? Everything seems to come together today. Great pace, good team strategy, and I managed to extract some good performance from the car. I couldn't be happier. A big talking point, irrespective of today's results, is how you've improved overall throughout the season. What would you say to that? It's taken me a while to adjust, sure. But it's not so much improvement as me showing what I could already do. I think where I'm at now is a good starting point. It's what comes next. That'll be the real asset to the team. It's funny you should mention the team as a whole. Can you give us an update? How is the current relationship between you and Casper? Casper's got a way about him, you know? He's hot-headed. He can get offended easily. I'm learning that I've just got to accept that. Any problems are his, not mine. Thank you for your time. 